I love black curtains. I, love I think it too. it's because it reminds me of theater. Yeah, of what? Yeah, for sure. Theater? Yeah. No. What's your favorite play? Uh, a theater? All the time? Yeah, a play. A play. Damn. I don't know. Okay. That would be my favorite. Okay. <laughs> what is yours? What's mine? Well, it depends. It could be Caligula. The... Um, Caligula. The... I can't remember his name right now. Caligula, the 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 Okay, so Caligula, Albert Camus, and then Porky Pig, which is a very good play. I've done this. The only one time I've done theater, it was with Porky Pig. Porky Pig is my favorite play. I know. When I told you, you were like, oh my god, you you've know, done my favorite play. It's my favorite. I found my favorite play. It's the one we wrote. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I only done one play, it was Porky Pig. 1929 fois. No, it's 1930 fois. 1930? 1930 fois. C'était pas 1929? Non, c'était fois parce que c'était juste après le crash boursier qui est arrivé le 28 octobre. 1929. Star Wars 1929, t'as cru. Ben oui, mais c'est ça, mais c'est after that. Ouais, yeah, ok. Yeah. Parce que yeah. tu l'avais prédit. Yeah, it's true. I was like one of those people that can see the future. Mm. And I saw in the future that the mind. crash boursier would happen. <laughs> Which is when all, all the people that invest money in New York, everything just went down like I World Trade Center. Down. Yeah, all the money crashed and died. And he was a mime that couldn't speak and had like um, a speaking problem. Do you know so many people kill themselves because of that? Because of the crash bullshit? It's crazy. It's crazy. Like people are killing themselves because of money oh yeah no they think that if they don't have money then it's the end of the world but well you need money to eat no you need money you for need a money lot of to things a, to have a roof over your head you need money for a lot of things but in the end deep deep down is money really necessary you know what i mean it's not necessary to humankind but we created a world where it is necessary we created the need for yeah. money Pretty much like we live in the materialistic world where we all feel like we need to prove that we are worth something with what we have instead of what we are. Yeah. You know what I mean? So if we don't look a certain part or if we don't have a certain car, we're not cool enough. If we don't have enough money to like buy shots for our friends and show off at the bar and tip like the waitress like 25%, you know what I mean? Like then we're not worth it because we don't have money. It's really shallow. It's like, it's this thing where I feel like we have to be like that, but I don't want to be. No, because we, we tend to uh, act and be like the people that surround us. Mm -hmm. So if it's the only thing we see around us, we're going to try to be like that as well. Mm -hmm. Just try to fit in. And I think that's more the problem, trying to fit in every time instead of being yourself. Yeah. Because you see people having money, you see them having a lot of things, so you want to be like them. Mm -hmm. But to break that circle, you have to be yourself. It's true. I think that's the solution. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think that it's hard because <clears throat> even if we don't want to be part of this cycle, and if, even if we don't want to be part of this materialistic world, there's always going to be something telling us that we should live a certain way, yeah. that we should have a certain amount of salary per year to be successful. This guy like stopped me in the street just two days ago and he was shooting like a series that's going to be in the fall. And he was asking us like, how much would you need to make to be happy in a year? And I just did my taxes. So I was like, okay, so like I made this much and I was like, I'll add 10,000 to that. 
and then I'd be happy, you know? Like, I don't need a lot. I don't need $200,000. But I'm like, an extra $10,000 would have been nice. Yeah, but at this point, you'll, have, you'll, you'll be wanting an extra $10,000 Ex again and again. And exactly. Again. That's what I think. I think that y you, we never get satisfied. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because if you do because make more money... we never to be satisfied. Huh? We never learn to be satisfied with what we have. Of course. Because our parents were never satisfied with what they had. At least not the like human parents. being is really greedy in general. Yeah, we all we always want more and more and more. So yeah, yeah, you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. it's, no, for sure. We're not, never satisfied with anything. Yeah, never. even nowadays with how for us like the dating world is set, <laughs> yeah. like um, the with dating Tinder, world is so fucked up. Even like I, I'm, I'm calling out Tinder, but even Bumble, I guess I've never used it or like OkCupid it's, or whatever. It's like a Sears catalog. It's just looking <laughs> it's exactly how it is to find the yeah, model you like. It's literally a catalog like, oh, you swipe left. OK, no, that's a person. OK, okay. And it's and frowned it's upon and people think it's weird when you just go and board someone on the street. Because we're so stuck in that tender life. Mm -hmm. It's just weird when someone talks to you. Yes, really. It's, it's this, well, it happens to you like recently. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and yeah. It happens to me like sometimes too. And like when some, someone comes to me, I'm like, why are you talking to me? Yeah. And I like to talk to people, but when I don't know this person and they come talk to me on the street, I'm like, who are you? Why are you talking to me? Like, mm -hmm. I what feel more like... Yeah, pretty much. I don't know how to explain that. I feel more like... Uh, la, sur la défensive. Yeah, on the fence. Yeah, yeah, on the fence. No, of course, because the thing is, like, we are... Like, in North America, especially, we're not used to having, like, an upfront type of dating. So I was talking to this French guy from France, and he was telling me, like, girls in Quebec, in Montreal especially, like, they don't know how to say no to someone. So just recently, a guy was like, um, he tried to like hit on me and my friend and he was being very intense. And we told him like, we, we just couldn't say no to him because he seemed nice. Like he seemed like a nice guy and everything. But at the same time, we were kind of uncomfortable because like the conversation was going on and on and on about like him, like being friendly and like hugging us and like we don't know you you know what i mean but we couldn't say no because he seemed nice we were like he's not a psychopath obviously he doesn't look like he's on lsd or uh like he's not super high on drugs he doesn't seem drunk like he just seems like a regular dude just like he's very upfront so we were talking to him and it just went on and on and on and he invited himself to drink beer with us and we're like sure and then it kept going and going and going. And that's never at any point where we like, we should tell him to leave. But we felt it. We felt like we should have been upfront and strict and just be like, okay, dude, like you're making us uncomfortable. We were having a girl's yeah. night and we never told him pretty much. But I just, I understand like, it's really hard because you're scared of what it can do to you. Exactly. Like you, you don't dare to say, oh, okay, uh, can you leave us alone? Because you're scared of his reaction. You don't know if you exactly. will be like aggressive or mm -hmm. mad at you or yeah. tell you that you're a slut, you know, insulting you. So you know, yeah. just like, okay, maybe I will give him a chance. Yeah, but sometimes it turns really, it can turn really bad. Of course, of course. That's why I mean, that's why even at the 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 end end of that night, we were still like not telling him like, okay, dude, like you're not picking up our clues. We told you we're not interested. My friend is in a relationship. I told him I'm not looking to date right now, and you're still not picking up the clues. I told you twice I don't want to date, and you're like still yeah. very flirty. If you don't pick it up, like at this point, I'm just like, I don't, how do you tell someone? Because then what if they become mad and like punch you or like attack you? Even if, if, if you're in public, there's this thing where you're like, is someone going to defend me? Because I feel like we've all been in this situation where we saw someone that we weren't sure if they needed help. Hmm. Maybe they did, maybe they didn't, but we weren't sure. So we didn't do anything. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I feel like what if people weren't sure because like maybe the server that was serving us noticed the situation was weird. We were like our body language was like this. We were very closed off. 
And I'm pretty sure it showed, you know what I mean? But nobody's going to step in unless they know for sure that something's wrong. Yeah. I think. Yeah, it's different now. It's weird. I know what you mean. It's different nowadays. I don't know. I don't want to date in this world right now. <laughs> no, me neither. Like, I really don't want to. No. Yeah. To be honest, like, I'm never sure of the intention of people. And it really scares Sorry. me. <laughs> <laughs> Oops, messenger. And it really Bro. scares me because, like, as I said, you never know the intention of people. Exactly. You don't know if there are good people or bad people, if they're going to do wrong to you mm -hmm. or... I think, and I think that's what people are scared of. Like they don't let people get inside their world. Mm -hmm. And I don't know where my reflection is going. But well, I can like just add a little bit of my own interpretation to that. Um, I was seeing this guy last year, and the way he acted with me, he was very like um, affectionate. Kind of like we were in a relationship and I wouldn't trust him. Like there was something in my gut that was telling me there's something wrong with that. He's being too nice. I was literally telling myself he's being too romantic and too nice. There's no way it's real because nowadays nobody's like that. That's what I kept telling myself. I was like, this isn't real. This isn't real. And then I always had my guards. Like my, I was like on my guard all the time. And then like I was still like with him. And I liked him a lot, but I still had my guard on. And then at some point, he just said, um, yeah, we have to end things because I'm moving back to my country. Mm. Like, all of a sudden, and then it was done, you know what I mean? Like, he just broke things off, although he made it seem like we were in a relationship and everything. And we were serious, and you wanted to be exclusive and all those things. And they're big words for people our age, I feel like. Like, being exclusive with someone is, like, such a rarity at least in my world and the people I know, like yeah. not many people are in exclusive <clears throat> relationships nowadays. They'll be seeing someone. They'll be with them for maybe a year. Oh, maybe less. Someone. Well, less or more. Less. <laughs> or like some people would just have this person like on deck, like it's in their phone. They can just text them and they're there. You know what I mean? But they're never in a relationship. They're never meaningful to each other. Well, when you're exclusive, I guess that's pretty much a relationship. What a relationship is all about. It's yes, but someone. if you like, if you love someone enough to be exclusive uh, at all time to that person, maybe you should be with that person instead of just saying we're just seeing each other, we're exclusive, but we're not there yet. I think that's just being afraid of commitment. But what if this person is telling you you're exclusive and then they drop you? right away you know what i mean like isn't that them lying to you and using you for the time that they can use you how could thing? you know that's exactly how could you have known that's the thing you trust them you'll never know so you live in fear that's the thing do you live in fear or do you open yourself up to maybe being hurt that's the question well the worst is when you think you're inclusive and well excuse me i mean and you find out that they talk to other people, mm. so they cheat on you. Yeah. Well, it depends. You can just. And that's what happened to me personally. You can just talk to someone. That no, but mean. no, no, no. No, but, but if you're flirting, if you're being very flirty, is it is it cheating? Have they done anything? That's the thing. The thing is that what happened to me is that the person I was with sent pictures. Well, we can imagine kind of the kind of pictures. Pick, pick. The worst yeah, pictures! Dick, dick, yeah, the, the dick, worst! <laughs> dick pics to other people while being with me because they thought like, that was some fucked up shit. To be honest, they, they, they have done that because, well, they, he has done that, I mean, because he was like, oh, she's not like sexually attracted to me or something. I was like, okay, that's what you think. But does it give you the right to do this when you know that it will hurt me? Of course, that sucks. That it, it doesn't give you the right. And it, it did it anyway because it was like, well, I'm not to like stop myself from doing it because were you because exclusive? uh because of you. About it. They were they were exclusive. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I was. It That's was like I'm not gonna stop myself because of you. I'm like, well, really? you should have. 
Like, really? If you say that you love me, and you know that it will hurt me, mm -hmm. maybe you should think, like, be less selfish and stop thinking about your dick and think about the person you love. Yeah, but... But this seems, seems like, logical for him. In his head, he was like, okay, so you're not attracted sexually to me. That's so what he I thought. Can't. Exactly, that's what he thought. That's what he was thinking because his ego was hurt for whatever reason. Yeah. And he's like, because I'm gonna... spoil Brad, actually. Yeah. Like, he, like, people yeah, like that, spoil Brad. Exactly. they're just gonna be like, okay, well, you're not giving me what I want, whatever that is. Whatever, whatever that is. And he's gonna be like, okay, I'm gonna find that with somebody else. It doesn't hurt our loving relationship because I'm doing something else with somebody else, but I'm like... That thing you're doing is part of what you should be doing with the, the person is, you love. Is that we never know if that person do it because they want us to react to this. Like, he, th he thought you were not sexually attracted to him, but maybe he did that because he wanted you to react and say you're attracted to him. And, like, but he did it more than know. once, right? Was it that? Yeah, or more just than he, once. Have, he have like a hole inside of him that had to be filled with attention from people? Most or probably. Or just wanted your attention, but Well, I think he that. was an exhibitionist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like literally well there's some stories I won't tell you but mm -hmm. I have I know many things about him that give me this you know this tip mm -hmm. about him so no that was totally fucked up and it believe well obviously yes I have trust issues like obviously. it was my first real um well yeah my first real relationship mm -hmm. So believe it or not, it's really hard for me to trust people after that. Of course. And I think it's obvious because how can you trust someone like your first love? Can you really think you, you would trust everybody else if you couldn't trust your first love? The first person that you love is the first per it's the, how can I say that? Um, when you start being in a relationship, the thing is, like, you use the guidelines of what you know. Mm -hmm. So, your parents. Yeah. My parents were separated and they weren't in a loving relationship. So, I've never seen a loving relationship. So, for me, I don't think it exists. Which is weird because I've seen it. I've seen it many times with some of my friends, with, like, whatever. I've seen loving relationships, mm -hmm. but I just don't believe it can happen to me. Same. So, I'll be in a relationship. And I'm not going to think it's a relationship because I'll be like, oh, whatever, they're going to hurt me. So there's no point. And then uh, I don't yeah. need to invest myself. Or if I do invest myself, I invest myself with people that reject me because I feel like I can change them. You know what I mean? Type of thing. Like not with everyone, but you, can you can't. No, you can't. No. You can't. And you can't. I, I thought the same thing with him. I thought I could change him. I could help him because he had like a real, really weird past. And I thought I could save him. You know when you're kind of too good <laughs> for people? Oh yeah, for you sure. You think like you can help them to be better and stuff like that mm. and... No, but it, has, it always has to come from within. So if that person doesn't want that help, it doesn't want to Exactly, them, like you think you can help them, but it doesn't want... They don't want to help themselves. No, absolutely. So you can do nothing about it. Mm -hmm. That's why it hurts me a lot because I was trying so hard to invest myself in this relationship to mm -hmm. help this person. And this person is like... No, he was closed no. off because he wasn't ready. Yeah. And the thing is, he was in your life for a reason. And the lessons that we get from people, like sometimes it takes a long time before we understand why. So there's a reason why he was in your life. And it's to make you grow in a way. Yeah. So there's always like, even if it's really bad, there's a reason why. Yeah. Maybe it's to make you stronger. Maybe it's for you to own, to own up to yourself. And when it's done, like, you feel relieved. Exactly. Literally. Like, I felt like when I was with this person, I was losing my myself. Mm -hmm. I didn't know who I was anymore. Yeah. So when I stopped being with this person, well, of course, it was really, really, really hard at mm -hmm. first. Mm -hmm. But then I, I understand that I could be myself again. Exactly. Because with him, I couldn't be myself. And then when I wasn't with him, I could be myself. It's really hard to explain. No, no, no. But dance, the dance, burlesque mm -hmm. thing. Yeah. Because, yeah, guys, I do burlesque. <laughs> Watch my videos. <laughs> well, 
it really helped me to find myself and to have more confidence with my sexuality mm -hmm. because as like I said it made me feel felt like I wasn't worth it and mm -hmm. because it cheated on me and stuff like that that it didn't like add sexual attraction with him and stuff like that and it made me feel more confident with my body, with myself, and that's really helped me to get over this relationship. Absolutely. I don't mean that I'm fully recovered, but for the most part, it really helped me. No, but it takes like, honestly, like it takes so long yeah, to really. be over someone. And I don't like what people say that you need to be in love with somebody new to like forget people because I think no. that's just totally dumb. I that's just totally dumb. It's time. It, yeah, it's time and it's healing and it's learning. And honestly, it's it's so much harder because if you invest yourself with somebody new and you're not over the past person, you're just gonna put dirt over dirt when it's over. That's very true. I like what you said. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, because. You're going to invest yourself with someone, but then somebody else is on the back of your mind. And it never feels right because you're not healed from the past. So it takes a long time to heal. It's really long. and But you can still love this new person. Oh, absolutely. If you meet someone like in an organic way, you know what I mean? Like you meet someone, you don't force yourself to meet someone. That's why I deleted Tinder, the big old app, because I'm like, there's I, if right now I'm looking to meet someone and force it, and make it happen, I'm like, I'm not gonna be, I'm not ready for that. Hmm. If I meet someone, through someone or whatever, and it feels right, maybe then, yes. But other than that, like, I'm not ready to like, go out in the world and be like, hey, I'm single, come hit <laughs> <What> me up. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I'm not like that. Like, I can't do that right now. Yeah. Cause I'm not ready for that. Cause I don't think I've learned everything that I need to learn from my past relationship. I don't know, I don't date a lot, and I don't have a lot of experience with uh, girlfriends or anything, so... Me neither, uh, but the I only one I got was so I, fucked up, I have stories I never had any meaningful relationship in my life, so... Yeah, me neither, not really. I don't know, I'm just a guy who's giving advice all the time. Yeah. But <laughs> oh, okay, you're that. the one giving yeah. advice. Because, maybe because I'm just so clueless when it happens to me. Same. Like, my yeah. friends are all like, she was eating on, eating on you, I'm like... Oh, I thought you were just kind. <laughs> I'm like that too sometimes. <laughs> Unless I'm not attracted to them, then I'm like, they're for sure hitting on me. <laughs> then I'm like, this is so obvious. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. But I'm sure that it's gonna happen for you. It's just like I hope. It will happen for you actually. All of them are gonna die alone. <laughs> Same. We all say no, that no. all of my friends say they're gonna die alone. I'm like, Same. Stop! Have you seen your faces? <laughs> I think I'm gonna die alone. Seriously? Uh, I've been single for so long. Oh my god, it's not even long. Well, okay, if I don't think this asshole, about this asshole, but the, well, well, before, it was a long time. Well, technically, I've never been in a relationship either, so... Our life sucks! I've been in relationships. <laughs> I've seen people. Yeah. But to them, they would never say they dated me. They would say Jeez, they had right. sexual relationships with me, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> it's bad. But, not, not bad, but I mean No, but it's how it is. Like people don't wanna sad. they don't wanna they don't wanna invest themselves. Yeah. And I let it happen to me, just like my friend was telling me, he's like, you girls don't say no. Yeah. So we don't force the like the discussion, like the what are we discussion? Because we're scared. Because if we have this discussion, we feel like we're going to push them away, but at the same time, it's crucial. Yeah. Because if I had had that discussion... Well, if that discussion pushed that person away, it means you shouldn't be with that person in the first place. Exactly. So, have this discussion. That's the it's thing. It's like a filter. No, it's true. But it's scary because you don't want to push them away, but at the same time, if you do push them away, it means they, they weren't meant to be with you. But I just learned that recently because I would never have the discussion. I was waiting for the guy to talk about it. And then I realized some guys never talk about it. And if they don't ask you what you are to each other, then what are you? You know what I mean? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> like, what are you if you never mention what you are? Yeah. Like, you live in the moment, and I agree with that, but some guys use that excuse 
live in the moment, go with the flow, to never put labels on things. And I don't mean like a label in a negative way, but I mean just to be able to have sex with whoever they want and never like commit, you know? Yeah. Well, it never happened to me, but I can't understand. <laughs> no, okay, sorry. <laughs> Yeah, I've had, a, I've had a few instances like that, but I don't really, like, it doesn't matter to me, it's just, I've realized. It's so bad. Like, you're such a good person. I'm like, I, I really hope that it will happen to you. It will happen. I'm going to meet someone at some point, and it's going to be a good person for me. I hope. I hope so. Well, I hope so for you guys, <laughs> and I know it's going to happen. I hope well, for you, too. Point. It's going to happen at I some hope. point. Yeah. Other than that, I mean, I can always have my but, cactus and just right. <laughs> just live uh, with a lot I of never, cactuses. I never felt like the need to be in a relationship at all. Yeah, well, there's a lot of people like that. We really don't need that. So I can understand a few of the guys just don't want to be in a relationship. Mm -hmm. They have fun with you. They enjoy your time with you, but they don't want a relationship. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. it's kind of too complicated at some point. Because we like to be free and do whatever they want. And if we say like, okay, I'm going. I'm going. I'm leaving the country. I'm, we don't. We don't want anchors anywhere. Just to feel free. Just have to this feeling of freedom, which is just an illusion, actually, because you always have anchors somewhere somewhere else. But you always have anchors. So we don't want to have a girl, and we have a lot of our friends with really like crazy shit. Your friend, seriously, they're. And it's kind of scary because that's what we saw. We, that's what we see. We see crazy girl and trying to control their lives and our friends just, we lost them because of that crazy ass person. Mm -hmm. And we don't want to be lost because we know our friend. We know our friend would never do that. Our best friend would never do that. And at some point the girl arrives and it's not the same person anymore. And since we see it happen, we don't want that to happen to ourselves. Because I'm pretty sure our friends doesn't don't realize how much they've changed because of that girl. Yeah, but you're not the same person as they are. Maybe they don't need freedom. Yeah, but... Maybe it's not we, what they aim for. Yeah, but at some point, we all we know our friends and probably mm -hmm. already had this discussion. This is exact same, the exact same thing I'm saying right now. Mm -hmm. And I see that happens. And it's scary to... Just lose yourself and give it to someone else. And lose your friend, lose everything. And while you're doing this, you think you're really happy. You think this is happiness. This is what I want. But by the next year, the other year after, and when that person is over, you, you change everything. Changed, and you lost a lot, a lot of your friends, and mm -hmm. you don't even recall who you are anymore mm -hmm. because you were that person because of that person you were with. Mm. And now it's gone, so you don't even remember who you are. Mm. And that's really scary. So that's why us guys, we don't want a relationship. No, it's not just you. Online. It's not just you. I also, I'm someone who craves freedom. I don't like being stuck somewhere. I don't like signing a lease and knowing I'm going to be stuck somewhere for 12 months. I'd like to believe that I could leave for another country anytime I want, that I could go to Japan and live there for three months and then go for three months in France. Like that's what I would like to believe. But then again, like you, don't you feel safer when you have stability? For example, like your job, wouldn't you like to always work a job that you know will pay your bills, that you know will give you a good salary? Does that job make me happy? Hi guys, thank you so much for watching. This was our conversation about love and life. And sorry it was cut down so short. We decided to lose some of the stuff because of technical issues. <laughs> so we're doing the uh, outro right now. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And if you want to see more, let us know in the comments if you ever felt like us. If you have Whatever you want to say. Exactly. If you have something to add, please let us know. We like that. And if you want to see more, let us know as well. Give it a thumbs up. Don't forget our links in the description below. Of course, I'm going to try to link these two. Yeah. My good looking friends. Yeah. Yes. So 
I hope you enjoyed. Love you guys so much and have a great day. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye.